Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! How you kids doing? <clears throat> Theory Asshole Consulting's email is working. Dear Catholic Capitalism, I'd like a clarity test done on three religious leaders. Want to know which one you'd choose as a roommate based on the test results. Patriarch Kyril of Moscow, the Russian Orthodox leader who recently claimed that smartphone addiction will enable the reign of the Antichrist. Hey, you may not be wrong. Archbishop Justin Welby of Canterbury, the head of the colossal fiasco that is modern Anglic Anglicanism. Pope Francis, uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, I would kill Pope Francis. Honestly, I just, I don't, I don't know how his neck got sliced there, Your Honor. He was just lying there. Maybe it's a sign from God. Oh, communists do bleed red blood. Uh, yeah, no, I, I loathe and detest Pope Francis. Um, he's a communist first and maybe a Catholic sixth and seventh. He's a pedophile second. I never really cared about the Catholic Church until you guys got a communist in there who loves uh, communism more than he loves his own people. All right. Let's go pull up these guys. Who would I want as a roommate? Kyril. Patrick Kyril. Or Patriarch Kyril. Kirill. It's an I. Patriarch Kirill of Moscow. Oh, he's got a beard. Look at that. Vladimir Mikhailovich Gnyanovyev is a Russian Orthodox bishop, became Patriarch of Moscow and All Rus and Primate of the Russian Orthodox Church, February 1, 2009. Prior to becoming a Patriarch, he was the Archbishop of Smolensk and Kaliningrad, beginning 1984, and also Chairman of the Russian Orthodox Department of External Church Related Permanent Member. Ba 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 ba! Cultural blah, 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 blah. collaborated closely with Russia's state under Vladimir Putin. Back the expansion of Russian power into Crimea and eastern Ukraine. Blah, blah, blah. President, da, 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 boo, da, boo. Early family, early life. Well, he was born in Soviet Russia, so he probably unless he he was born uh, elder brother professor. His father, Reverend Mikhail Gendendev, died in 1974. Mother, teacher of German, died in 84. His brother was also a pastor. So they came from a group of pastors. Uh, and seeing, well, he was born 46. He was raised up under Stalin. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't come from wealth. Got a job, geological work for a cartographer. Oh, okay. Entered the Leningrad Seminary. So he does have actually some real world working experience. Is the church real? Eh, eh. If it was a theocracy, I'd say no, because that's the government. Uh, but uh, his dad was a pastor, and then he has work as a cartographer. So uh, I'm going to say that it is real world working. He's been working the entire time. Uh, was it a worthless degree? Not really. And it's also Russia. So I don't know if he really had a choice. So, um, did not come from wealth. Didn't major anything stupid. Real world working experience has been working in as clergy the entire time. So he's got, he gets a perfect score. Would I like to have a beer with him? Yeah. Uh, should he run for office? I'm a little reluctant to have career clergy members run for office because a lot of people who go into the clergy of all religions do so primarily. I'd say almost 85% of the people who go into being leaders of religion do so because they want to avoid real work. So I'm very skeptical of this guy. Um, I, I don't think he should, I, I, in general, I, I eschew uh, professionally, you could be Catholic or Jewish or Muslim, whatever, and run, but if you are an imam or a rabbi or a pastor, maybe you shouldn't be running. And you got some bias. You need to understand the value of a secular democracy. They have a republic. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Um, would I want him as a roommate? I suppose. I know I don't want the Pope as a as a roommate. Yeah, I, uh, who'd you choose as a roommate? I, I. So far, we're going with 
uh, Patriarch Kirill, Kyril. All right, let's do Archbishop Bishop Justin Welby. God, he does look like a bishop. Look at that. <clears throat> Looks like Father Ted. Justin Portal Welby is the 105th Archbishop of Canterbury, the most senior bishop of the Church of England, and a pol politician by virtue of his seat in the House of Lords. Oh. Was vicar of Southam, Shire, and most recently the Bishop of Durham, Shire. Just a year, but of a primate of all England and head primus inter pares of the worldwide, worldwide Anglican Communion. Educated at the University of Cambridge, where he studied history and law. Ah, see, now he was born in 56. I'm going to give him half a point. Because by that time, if you're studying history, you really don't have the intention of really war. I'm, I'm going to give him half a point. Uh... Having worked in business before his ordination, or ordination, some of his publications explore the relationships between finance and religion. Bada ba, bada boo, boo be boo. Born in London, almost nine months after the marriage of his mother, Jane, to Gavin James Welby. Jane served as a personal secretary to Winston Churchill until her marriage. Very soon had a short relationship with the private secretary Churchill. Sir Anthony Montague. There's a name, Montague, boy. Woo! That's like the British version of Thaddeus. Uh, son of... You see, now they're going to go to Gavin, his dad's lineage. I don't care about his dad's lineage. Welby, Gavin and Jane were both alcoholics. They divorced in 1959 when he was three years old, and he was placed in Gavin Welby's custody was engaged to actress Vanessa Redgrave who called the engagement off after her money Lady Red Okay they they come from they come from wealth they just they're they're, they're uh, having affairs with actors and actresses and they work for Winston Churchill business exit yeah they they come from and now admittedly let, let's be fair if they got divorced and alcoholism was in the family it wasn't easy for them either so I'm going to say uh uh we're only going to give him half a point for coming from wealth because it was a horribly broken home. Biological was not given. <laughs> Paternity testing in 2016 showed that Welby's biological father was not Gavin, but Sir Anthony Montague Brown. No <laughs> wonder he was drinking. <clears throat> okay, all right. It doesn't matter. Maternal family. Oh, yeah. He came from wealth. All right. So he's got a point against him so far. Trinity College, majoring in that business career. Well, he worked for 11 years in the oil industry, five of them with the French oil company. All right. He has real world working experience. Uh, during his oil career, complete ignorance by the behavior of the ministry. First rejected by the ordinance by John Hughes. I'm just trying to figure out when he went in. Okay, from A9 to 92, he studied theology, so he was a little bit older. He didn't just join it fresh out of high school. Um, Ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba. What was wrong with him? Oh, it's just that he's Anglican. Um, Justin Welby, yeah, he's got a point against him. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Some of which is no fault of his own. Uh, and he's been working ever since. Uh, I'd have a beer with him, and out of all the three so far, I'd be okay with him running for office more than the others because he does have a world working experience that comes from a tortured background. So I, uh, I do kind of... You should listen to Stefan Molno. I'm sure he, those two guys will get together well with their English accents. Uh, and then Pope Francis. Oh, God. I'm gonna, just not excited. I don't care about Pope Francis news. Argentina. The most arrogant, shitty country in all South America. Born 1936, head of the Catholic Church, Vatican, ba ba ba, boo doo boo, born in Buenos Aires, 
was an ordained Catholic priest in 1969. <clears throat> okay, so he he waited a while. Okay, that's good. No, for humility, emphasis on God's mercy, international visibility, Pope, concern for the poor. Well, if you care about the poor, you'd get rid of communism, but you don't care. He maintains that the church should be more open. He does not support unbridled capitalism, Marxism, or Marxist version of liberal that sure. Early years. <clears throat> oh, he was a Jesuit, 1958, never mind. Eldest of five children of Mario Jose Bergogliloli and Regina Savori. That sounds Italian. Oh, an Italian immigrant. And a cow. Housewife, northern Italian, to escape the fascist rule of Benito Mussolini. According to the Pope's only living sibling, they did not immigrate for economic reasons. His other siblings attended Wilfred School of the Technical school, na, 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 named after a past president. Graduate chemical technician's diploma. Okay, he didn't major in stupid stuff. He worked for a few years in that capacity in the food section <coughs> before joining the Jesuits. Bergoglio worked as a bar bouncer and janitor sweeping floors. Oh, okay. This is, okay, his, his name is Bergoglio. Um, so he worked as a bouncer at Jan. All right, all right. He's got real world working experience. Uh, he's only known pneumonia. He's a sports ball fan. Joined the Jesuits. Been a pope. Ba da ba ba da ba. <clears throat> Alright, so he did major in real stuff. He didn't... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say he came from wealth. Did major in stupid stuff. Didn't come from wealth. Uh, did, uh, has real world working experience. Has been, you know, in the in the priesthood the entire time. He gets a perfect score. Uh, would I want him as a roommate? No. Would I want to have a beer with him? No. Should run for office? No. I can't. I can't get excited about people who are leftists. I just can't. It just tells me that you're you're naive, you're not smart, you have no street smarts, you have no courage to sit down and think about things critically and ha or have the capacity for tough love. He just wants to be the popular part. I, I have, he's spineless. I have no no interest in, in hanging out with a guy like that. I think if I had to choose out of all of them, I guess we'd go with Justin Welby. I think Patriarch Cairo would be more of the partier. He'd be kind of the cool guy to, you know, maybe crash on your couch. Francis, just get get Francis the fuck out of there. No, I don't want to have hang out with Francis. Um, and it is because of his politics. I just I just don't. My life is too short to hang out with inferior, boring people like leftists. I just don't have the capacity for it. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. We might actually catch up on all of Asshole Consulting today. Check out the Older Brother podcast just posted over on captaincapitalismblogspot.com and the links to all the cool stuff I do down below. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.